In Creo Parametric, there are a number of techniques that you can use to improve your computer's performance when you are working on large drawings. Let's take a look at that. But first, let's define what a large drawing is. Well, it's a drawing that could have a lot of models, or it could have very complex part and assembly models that take a long time to regenerate. It might have a lot of sheets, and it might have a lot of views and details. There's no strict definition for what is a large drawing and what isn't, but basically it's any drawing that takes longer to retrieve, regenerate, repaint, and manipulate than you would like. It's just slower than you need for getting your job done. Let's talk about the different methods that you could use to improve your performance, and there are essentially six different methods. First, configuration options. Second, drawing representations. Third, simplified reps. Fourth, retrieving a drawing as view only. Fifth, simplifying the display of your views. And finally, working on multiple drawings and then merging them together at the end. Probably the method that will gain the best improvement in performance is configuration options. And you're going to use configuration options that are essentially performing a trade-off. In order to get faster computer performance, you're going to get lower quality display on the computer screen. So here I have on the right the config.pro option that I use. Some of the different options that you have in here turn off the automatic regeneration of views. They also turn off a number of the different entities that are displayed on the computer screen, like data planes and axes and coordinate systems, so on. Also, it turns off a lot of the hidden line removal options. And if you take a look at the bottom of the config.profile, I have a couple options that were added in Creo 7.0 for advanced interference checking, especially with multi-body modeling. And I have both of those turned off. And another one forces all the views to be in wireframe because wireframe requires the least amount of graphical processing. Second technique, drawing representations. And these are like a simplified rep for your drawing. You're controlling how much detail you're bringing into your computer session. And I have an entire video on drawing representations that you might want to check out. There are two different ways that you can create a drawing representation. One is when you are in the drawing, you can go to the Tools tab and then the Utilities Overflow menu and choose Drawing Representation. This will open a menu manager and you can create it. The dialog box that opens up has two different tabs. The first tab, the View Display tab, allows you to control which views are being displayed and which ones are being erased. And you can choose them by individual views. You can also specify which sheets you want to view, what types of views that you want, like general views, projection, detailed, auxiliary, and so on, and which models that you want to retrieve. The second tab, the drawing display tab, allows you to specify when you retrieve the drawing what sheet to go to or which view to go to, just so that you don't have to go through the different sheets and views to get what you're working on today. And also you can choose to freeze the table so that they don't update. The second way of creating a drawing representation is when you are retrieving the drawing. You can create a drawing representation on the fly. Third, you can apply simplified representations to individual views. And by doing this, you're reducing the amount of detail in individual views. So again, you are getting an improvement in performance. So you could apply the automatic rep to different drawing views or a custom simplified rep. For example, maybe you have simplified reps that exclude certain components, or maybe you have one driven by model rules that only bring in the external components. Another method, if you are just pulling up a drawing to review it or to print it out, you can retrieve the drawing as view only. And in order to use this method, you have to have a configuration option, save display set to yes. And essentially, whenever you save the drawing, it's going to save different pictures of each sheet in the drawing, and that's what it pulls up. 
when you retrieve the drawing as view only, it doesn't retrieve any of the different models. And as a result, almost all the icons in drawing mode are going to be grayed out. If you actually want to work on the drawing, you're going to have to go to the Layout tab and choose Retrieve Models. And this will bring all the different components into session. Fifth method, simplifying the display of individual views. One method that you could use is to erase views. And if you erase the view, then Creo Parametric no longer has to repaint it or update it on the computer screen. And so what you might want to do is use this as a temporary measure. Erase all the different views that you're not working on, and then at the end, bring them back. Second method is Z clipping, and I'll show that in the demonstration. And Z clipping says, hey, when you're looking into a different view, don't show anything behind a given point, and that way it reduces the amount of detail in a view. And a third way of simplifying views is by applying an area cross section as opposed to a total cross section because it's going to have less detail. And the final method is a divide and conquer approach. Basically, if you're working on a really big drawing, it's going to be a lot faster to work on, say, six 10-page drawings as opposed to one 60-page drawing. So you create these individual drawings, and then at the end, you are going to merge them together using the import drawing data command from the layout tab. Let's take a look at how to use this stuff, different stuff in Creo Parametric. Before we go into Creo Parametric, I've got Notepad opened up, and this is my special config.pro file that I use for large drawings, and it's called largedrawings.pro. Here right now, I've got about 26 different options in here that reduce the graphical display, but improve my computer's performance. And if I wanted to read in these different options, in Creo Parametric, I would just go to File Options. And again, typically I would do this before I pull in the drawing. I go to Configuration Editor. Here's my standard config.pro file. Over on the right, you could import a configuration file. And I will navigate to where I have my various different config.pro files in here. Here's largedrawing.pro. If I choose Open, it will retrieve those different settings and I could apply them. But for the other things that I want to show in this demonstration, I'm not going to read in that file. Let's cancel out of here. Now let's take a look at some of the other different options. Let's go to the Open button. And here in my folder, I'm going to filter down two different drawings. Later on, I will show you how to create a drawing representation. But if you wanted to create one on the fly, instead of just clicking the Open button, you can go to Open Representation. And this will bring up the Open Representation dialog box. And if you choose Create New Drawing Rep, that will allow you to create a drawing representation right when you are retrieving the drawing. Let me cancel out of here. And let me close this again and erase not displayed. Let me show you how to retrieve a drawing as view only. I will click the open button over here. Here is my drawing. I'll go to the open drop down menu and you can see that there's an option in here to choose view only. And when I retrieve the drawing as view only, it comes up very quickly. Let's jump over to sheet number one over here. If you take a look at the layout tab, you'll notice that Everything's grayed out. Same thing with the table tab, annotate tab, very few of the commands in here. Maybe if I go to review or tools, you'll find some commands that are active in here. But essentially, I'm just looking at different sheets in here. And so again, this is a very good method to use if you are just reviewing a large drawing and you don't intend to make any changes. But if you do want to make changes to it later on, from the layout tab, you can choose retrieve models. And it asks you, are you sure you want to do that? I will confirm. And now it's actually retrieving the different parts and assemblies that are associated with this. And again, it will take a little bit of time depending on how complex your drawing is. All right, now that we have retrieved everything, let's take a look at where you can get to the drawing representations command. If you go to the Tools tab and then Utilities and then Drawing Representation, we can choose to create a new drawing rep. 
here is the drawing representation dialog box. I'm not going to go through this because, again, I have an entire video on creating drawing representations. But what you're doing here is you're choosing which views or sheets you want to erase or display. So, for example, I could say, hey, maybe today I am working on sheet number 13. So I could choose to display that and I can choose the add button and then go on and configure in here also for the drawing display tab since I'm working on sheet number 13 I know that I can say hey for I when I retrieve this later on I want to automatically go to sheet number 13 and not have to navigate through any of the other different sheets and I could also choose to freeze all the other different tables let's cancel out of here because I'm not actually going to create that one Let's take a look at a, another sheet in here. Here I am. Uh, so let's say that I have these different drawing views over here and they've got a lot of detail and I want to improve the performance. I can apply a new simplified, or excuse me, an existing simplified rep to one of these drawing views. When I left click on the view, I can go to edit definition. Then you go to the view states category. Right now it's using the master representation. When I click on the drop down list, I can see the predefined custom representations, or I can choose the automatic rep and click OK. And that way, it is applying the automatic rep to that particular view. And always remember if you're applying different simplified reps, if you want to see import improvement in performance, you should really do file erase not displayed after that, which is a command I have in my quick access toolbar. Let's say that you wanted to create a new custom simplified rep. You can right click over the model in the model tree and choose open. And right now, just bring open the master representation of this assembly. You can go to the view manager and create a new simplified rep. And then inside of here, you can choose which components you want to include or exclude and the amount of detail. So, for example, from the drop down list, I could choose, hey, for this particular assembly, I want this one to come in the automatic rep uh, when it is being retrieved. Another thing that you have in here is the ability to define simplified reps by rules. And I show this in other videos on simplified representations. If you go to the model rules from here, you can edit rules and this will bring open the rules dialog box. I can click the plus sign and maybe I want to bring in just the exterior components in the automatic rep. I can right click over select condition and choose new type in a name for the condition and hit enter and then in the rule editor from the geometry tab you can choose exterior components and you can choose the quality level that you want to use the higher the quality level the better it is at selecting the exterior components let me cancel out of here and just get back to the drawing And so for the drawing, the next thing that we'll take a look at is simplifying the display of individual views. So for example, if I am on this sheet over here, if I'm not using this view, I can click on it and choose to erase the view. And that way you just get an outline of the view and Creo Parametric doesn't have to wait, waste any processing on updating the display of that particular view. Let's take a look at applying different cross sections. So here I have a view. If I choose edit definition, if I go to the view, actually the sections category over here, right now I have a cross section over here. It's using total cross section, which I'm getting the actual cutting plane and the geometry behind it. But if you're choose to choose an area cross section and then apply, we are just getting the cross-sectional area itself, which has a lot less detail involved in it. For Z-clipping, let me jump over to another sheet in the drawing. Here I have some different views over here. If I take a look at this view over here, I'm looking into the drawing sheet and it's giving me all the detail from this view that it's based off of, but there's a lot of geometry that is not showing up in this view. 
because of the orientation. With the Z clip, you can say, hey, in this view, don't bother computing all the stuff beyond a certain location. Let me show you how to do that. I will select this view and then choose Edit Definition. And then if you go to Visible Area, here we have the option to clip the view in the Z direction. And the Z direction is the direction into the drawing sheet. When I choose to clip the view, I need to pick a clipping reference. And usually you'll pick something in another view. So I could say, hey, really, I don't need to see anything in this view beyond this particular edge. When I hit the Apply button, the view really didn't change that much. But again, I'm only seeing the stuff that I need or the stuff that I need to detail. And it's not bother computing all this other geometry in here beyond that particular Z location. And the last technique is to use the merge approach, which is work on a bunch of smaller drawings. And this is especially useful for a multi-detail drawing. So for example, I could work on this particular assembly in one drawing. And if I were working on a piece part like this one over here, I could do it in another drawing. And after I've made all these small drawings, which are pretty fast to work on, then at the end, I can go to the main drawing and then use the import drawing data command in order to retrieve other different drawings and append it to this particular drawing. So there you have six different techniques for improving the performance of large drawings. And those are configuration options, drawing representations, simplified representations, retrieving a drawing as view only, simplifying the display of individual views, and creating multiple different drawings and then merging them together at the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.